Hallelujah. Jesus, help us to keep that peace that passes all understanding, oh God. Hallelujah, help us to keep that joy, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, that joy that is unspeakable, Lord God. Hallelujah, no matter what the circumstances are, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, Lord God. No matter the valleys, Lord God, no matter the mountaintops, Lord God. Help us to keep our minds and our eyes fixed on you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For you're worthy tonight, Lord Jesus. You're worthy of all the praise, O oh God. We give you all the honor tonight, Lord Jesus. O oh God, remember our leaders, Lord God. Hallelujah, in this assembly, Lord God, and in this organization, Lord Jesus. Keep them, O oh God, strengthen him, O oh God. Against every principality, O oh God. Oh, Jesus, keep them, Lord God. Lead them, Lord God, and direct them, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, every servant, Lord Jesus, in this ministry, Lord God. Keep them, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, keep us, Lord God, as an, as an assembly, Lord God. Keep us, Lord Jesus. Oh, we thank you tonight, oh God, for your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your spirit, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, help us to keep your word in our hearts tonight, Lord God. Help us to keep your word, Lord. Hallelujah, help us to walk by your spirit, Lord Jesus. Oh God, help us to walk by faith, Lord God, and not by sight, Lord God. Oh God, not according to what we see, Lord God. Hallelujah, but according to what we know by faith, Lord God. That you're always with us, Lord Jesus. You're always beside us, going before us, Lord God. Fighting our battles, Lord God. Hallelujah, help us to walk the past the best the man, the best the man, 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 the
come into the room and do miracles, miracles, miracles. We give you all praise. We give you all praise. There is nobody, nobody, nobody like you. Come into, come into, come into the room and do miracles, miracles, miracles. We give you all praise. We give you all praise.
control break through in my weakness break through in my struggle you are the god you are the god of the breakthrough in my worship break when i lift and look with my own
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no circumstance that is impossible for you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Help me to give it all to you, Jesus. For you are the God of the breakthrough, oh God. Help me never to hold anything back from you, oh God. Help me to give you every circumstance, Lord. Tonight, let me give you everything tonight, Jesus. Oh, God, help me to never hold anything back from you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help me never to forget, Lord God. Help me never to forget, Jesus. Oh, God, never let me forget these words tonight, Lord God. You are the God of the breakthrough, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my family, you are the breakthrough, Lord Jesus. On my job, you are the breakthrough, Lord God. Hallelujah. With my health, you are the breakthrough, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Mm. We feel your spirit here tonight, God. Minister to your people even now, Jesus. Minister to your people, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh. Speak to somebody even now, oh God. Speak to somebody. Somebody needs to hear your voice, Lord God. Letting them know, God, you are their breakthrough, Lord Jesus. Speak to somebody even now, Lord God. Oh God, somebody needs to hear your voice clearly tonight, oh God. You are their breakthrough, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, in this atmosphere of worship, we're going to take the prayer request. We want to pray for Renee, for Jason, Roberta, Terry, for protection, for Ellie, Vaughn, Vanessa, protection and deliverance, for Virginia, for complete healing from cancer, Sonny Jean, for complete healing and a touch from, of God in his life, for Roxana Platero, for healing and pain to go away. For Anabon to come to church for Marianne Chape in hospice stage four brain cancer for comfort. For David Bond for complete healing. The Pace family and unspoken requests for Max and Deval and family for a strength and comfort protection over personal attacks. For Kayla and family protection and guidance. Charlotte and family for protection and guidance. Norman for healing in body. Ava Castillo, healing from cancer. Baby Raisin for healing, blessing and strength. Jackson Lee, healing in his body. We serve a God who is a mighty healer tonight. Can we all unite right now, Lord God? You're a mighty healer, Lord God. You're everything that we need, Jesus. Oh, God, we intercede on these individuals right now, Lord God, on their behalf, Lord. Oh, God, intervene, Lord, as only you are able to, Lord Jesus. There is nothing that is impossible for you, oh, God. Speak to their hearts right now, oh, God. Bring comfort, Lord God. Touch their bodies, Lord God. Jesus, be their healer tonight, oh, God. Let it be known unto them, Lord God. There is no other healer, Lord God. Jesus, talk to them right now, Lord God. Let them hear your voice, Lord Jesus. Bring healing and comfort, Lord God. We thank you tonight, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we glorify your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. If you have a special need tonight and you want to come to the front, we want to invite you. Hallelujah. Your healing is here tonight. Can we give the Lord a mighty hand clap of praise tonight? He's worthy. He's worthy. I said he's worthy of our praise tonight. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. You all may be seated. Hallelujah. Anybody excited to be in the house of God on a Sunday night? Amen. Praise God. Well, steadfast, everyone should be aware at this time is up and coming. You want to sign up for Thursday and Friday brunch will be, uh, the sign up will be in the foyer. The brunch will not be in the foyer. The sign up will be there though. Any questions, please see brother and sister Bonjour. Sister Bonjour, can you just wave your hand that she's right there in the back? Amen. Please see Sister Bonjour's uh, signing up for the brunch. She needs help. And that is what this announcement is for. If you're willing to help, please see Sister Bonjour's or Brother Bonjour's leader care fundraising. There'll be a spaghetti dinner after the evening service. Please, please do not forget. Stop by the fellowship hall. I believe that's where we'll be having the spaghetti dinner for sale. You want to stop by, get your spaghetti dinner. That's in um, for the leader here. Uh, church prayer every Tuesday night. Please remember our church prayer with brother and sister Bright leading. 630 in the children's chapel 6 30 everyone is welcome please don't forget to sign up for potluck on resurrection sunday any questions please again see sister bonjours that's a sign up for the potluck this resurrection sunday which will be um, next sunday coming up um, steadfast conference reminder will be april 3rd through 5th here in Gallup, New Life Apostolic Church. Registration is open. All church members will need to register if you plan on attending. Um, visitors, if we are having visitors, they too will also need to register as well. Amen. Uh, do we have any new visitors visiting with us for the first time? Any new visitors? Sharona, so wonderful to have you worshiping with us tonight, Sharona. Praise God. It's a delight to have you. We pray that you'll be blessed by tonight's service, and we do invite you to the foyer, our visitor's booth, right after service. There'll be a free gift waiting for you. Just an appreciation for you worshiping with us tonight. Praise God. Amen. Um, at this time, we do have a few auction items. If we can have an usher to assist. We do have a bouquet of beautiful flowers, and this is for the youth ministry. Anybody appreciate our youth? Hallelujah. Amen. Want to start off the bid for this beautiful bouquet. How does it smell, Sister Sheila? Pretty good. Amen. So, so we're going to start off the bid at $10. Do we have $10, anyone? $10 at the back, $20, $20 over here. 25 anybody else 25 20 going tw 25 on the platform 30 dollars anybody else 30 dollars 25 on the platform going once going 30 dollars to our sister on the side 35 dollars anybody else 35 35 30 dollars going once going twice blessed by our sister amen next item Rice Krispie Treats. I need to change my glasses. This is going to the Children's Church, another ministry for our young people. Um, this is a, um, a, a container of Rice Krispie Treats. That's enough for your whole neighborhood. We'll start the bidding at $10 at the back, $15. Anybody else? $15. Brother is bidding against himself. Okay, fifteen, twenty dollars. Anybody else? Fifteen dollars going once, going twice, and there's another one that he can bid on as well. Amen. Fifteen dollars to our brother. Another container of rice crispy treats, and again, this is going to our children's church. Starting the bid off at ten dollars. 
ten dollars rice crispy treats ten dollars twenty dollars to brother tory twenty five dollars anybody else twenty five twenty dollars to brother tory going once going twice and blessed by brother tory amen at this time we're going to receive an offering if we can all stand invite our ushers to come forth anybody excited to give unto the lord nobody let me ask again maybe you were maybe you were meditating on that anybody excited to give unto the lord okay three people praise god well, let's dig deep into our wallets ladies into your purses lord we thank you tonight oh god for your blessings for providing for us lord god for your faithfulness lord jesus as we give back unto you oh god we pray O oh lord you will bless this offering multiply it unto your kingdom lord god bless those who are able to give jesus those that are not able to give praise we pray lord god that you will continue to bless them that they too will be able to participate in history we thank you in jesus name and the church says Yeah. 
wide. I see your glory as I run inside your throne room. Before you, I bow, I bow, Jesus. The bell is torn, the door swing wide. I see your glory as I run inside the throne room. Before you, Jesus. Before you, I'm going to bow. The bell is torn, the bell is torn, the door swing wide. I see your glory. you in all of your majesty aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight I said aren't you glad to be in God's house tonight precious Jesus we worship you we thank you hallelujah hallelujah praise God before we go any further we have a quick testimony tonight praise the Lord everybody I just want to thank pastor for letting me give this quick testimony um, I'm a nurse in the emergency room, and sometimes we have devastating cases that come in. And this past week on Tuesday, we had a really devastating case, and it was really hard for all of the staff that was there. Everyone was crying, and I had one of my coworkers come up to me, and she was crying, and she hugged me, and she said, Please tell me that you're praying because I know that you're powerful. And I'm giving this testimony because that is God. That is the power of God. And sometimes things that we face in our personal lives and our loved ones face in loss and grief, it's bigger than us. And it's hard and it's hard to carry. But I believe tonight that God told me, cast your cares on me because I care for you. That's the God that we serve. <laughs> And we can pour out, we can pour out of ourselves to those around us because we serve God who is the cup that never runs dry. We can pour out because he pours into us and he never runs dry. So that's just what I wanted to share tonight. That's the kind of God we serve. Come on, if you love him, raise your hands and let him know that. If you appreciate God tonight, come on, what to stand to your feet and give him praise right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, Lord. We thank you for your majesty. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So good to be here to feel his spirit it's also good to have our winslow family here with us tonight amen this welcome i can say it this way now pastor canales and his wife and daughter and fa and some of the church members amen we are so thankful uh, for them being with us and uh sharona i hope i said that right we're sharona right is that right we're glad you're here with us Amen. I know we welcomed you already, but 
Most of all, I'm glad that Jesus Christ is in the house. Because without him, none of this would matter. Amen? Hallelujah. We have a busy week or two ahead of us. Uh, the uh, Resurrection uh, Sunday, uh, next Sunday morning. This is a guy who knows we'll be here preaching. Amen. So we're glad for that there. But also, uh, the steadfast, the following week, we have so much going on. Uh, let's don't be weary in well-doing. Give God the praise in everything. Amen. Give him praise in everything. You want to be a winner? You got to act like a winner. You want victory? You got to claim victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, tonight we are so thankful to have Pastor Canales with us uh, from Winslow, Arizona. We want him to come and preach the word of the Lord to us. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord the praises. Pastor Canales, come. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. The veil is torn. Hallelujah. What does that mean to you? That means any time, any place. You can be in the presence of God. Uh, hallelujah. The veil is torn uh, to the holiest of holies. Uh, hallelujah. All you got to do, uh, amen, is step in. Uh, all you got to do, uh, hallelujah, surrender your heart and your mind, uh, amen, and go into that place. Hey. You've got to understand that up until that time that the veil was rent only one man once a year could go into the presence of the Lord. Didn't matter how many sacrifices you gave, how much money you gave. Didn't matter any of anything that you did. You could have been the perfect person. But if you were not that high priest, you didn't have the opportunity. But when Jesus gave up the ghost, hallelujah, hallelujah, he opened up the veil. And now we, finite beings, imperfect beings, some of us fail in time and time again can repent of our sins, amen, and step into that place, uh, hallelujah, where the angels would love to go. And for, for, for thousands of years, nobody else got to go. Hallelujah. On a Sunday night in Gallup, New Mexico, you can receive the word of the Lord and step into the supernatural and God do the things that you need in your life him to do mate bahati hite bokada mahai he le bahato kore mahai he de bahaba ke le mahaha hallelujah jesus Oh, God. Hallelujah. Will somebody, will somebody reach their faith right now? Reach out in faith right now. Reach out in faith. Hallelujah. I have no idea what's happened, amen, this morning uh, or through the week. I have no idea what's gone on, uh, hallelujah, in your life. But I'm here to tell you, uh, amen, that if you will just break through in the Holy Ghost, uh, if you'll just allow yourself, uh, hallelujah, to go into that place uh, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Ye mata ba ke hele mara bota ma ye. I de bo kare ma ha bo kote ma ha. I da ba kato mo re ala ma he ma ha ye. Oh God. Oh God, you come, you come, because you want to touch some hearts. You want to change some lives. You want to set someone, oh Lord, on a path. Hallelujah. Taking them out of darkness into this marvelous light. Oh God, in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Aleluya. Aleluya. Such an honor to be behind this pulpit tonight. Anytime pastor ask me to come, I'm willing to come. I've, I've come to where this is the second place I enjoy preaching. The first place is to my beautiful people in Winslow. So glad to see all of them here. My barber, the best barber in Winslow, Arizona. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Freddie, amen. And his wife, Sister Tyler, and their children. I got excited seeing Bubba running the aisles. Hallelujah. God was showing me things to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When our children, when our children praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is a sign of things to come. Hallelujah. I love my pastor. And I'm so thankful for Pastor Fisher. I've often I've wondered, Pastor, just, just yesterday, I wondered. In fact, actually it was this morning. I walked into the church in Winslow and I, I wondered, did the pastor feel the same way? He's like, how did I get here? Do you, do you wonder that sometimes? <laughs> I know I do. I, I, I'm looking around, I'm thinking, Lord, how did I get here? From Central Valley of California, the San Joaquin Valley, to Winslow, Arizona, and then making connection with Gallup, New Mexico. And I've talked about it. I believe that it's a God thing. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that there is a revival for the I-40 corridor. Hallelujah. Right alongside the Navajo Nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. But it is so good to be here tonight. Amen. And our good saints that, I don't know, did y'all get snow coming up? We hit snow from Holbrook all the way to Manuelito. And then it stopped. Well, I guess the weatherman wasn't alive because I didn't check all in between. I just checked from... I just checked Gallup, New Mexico, and it said, well, it's not going to be snowing too bad. So I'm like, looks good. Hallelujah. Here we are. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Going to be reading. And for you Winslow folks, you're going to get it again. I apologize, but I don't. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to preach this last night. I didn't think I was going to preach this here in, in Gallup. Thought I was just going to preach that, preach this in Winslow, and then this morning early while I was at the church and uh, preparing, the Lord said, "You're going to preach it in Gallup also." I have some other things I thought I was going to preach, and maybe that's for another day. But God has 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 given me something, and I I told the church this morning I was frustrated yesterday. Thought I I thought God had give me a piece of, of, of something and it wasn't unfolding it just wasn't coming together and on two different occasions I walked out of the house the second time I left my phone and left everything there didn't want to be bothered left my phone and I found myself in a in a in a crack in the rocks now I've got these big red rocks around my house and so I pulled up in one of those rocks and I just began to call out to God Say, God, I can, only, I can only do what you allow me to do. I, I, I'm not one of these preachers that can build this beautiful message just on, on intellect. It's got to be led of the Spirit. It's got, it's, it, that's the only way I can, I, I can do it. And little by little, God began to 
show me and give me direction on, on what to do and, and how, how to pull it out, what I needed to do to get, get what he wanted me to see. And so I'm going to do my best tonight to deliver what I believe God has given me. Luke 19 and 40. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to be reading 1 Peter 2 and 5. Hey, man, I like to hear pages turning. Hallelujah. But I also like technology. It's helped me a lot. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Luke 19 and verse 40. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that. If these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. First Peter 2 and 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. God, in your name, Jesus, Lord, we ask, Lord, that your spirit come and help us, O oh God. Your spirit, O oh Lord, O oh God, come, Lord, and stir our hearts and our minds, bringing us, O oh God, to a place, O oh God, where we can hear and understand and receive of your word. In the name of Jesus, let the pulpit and the and the pew come together. God, O oh God, in your name, Jesus, and you may be seated amen now I'm going to be taking pieces of this account that is at the end of where Jesus was coming into Jerusalem and I'm going to be taking pieces of it from Matthew amen from the, the gospels amen so Matthew and John and then of course in Luke uh, amen but but Jesus uh, was getting ready. He was getting ready to come into Jerusalem. Uh, amen. They call it the triumphant, the triumphant entry. Jesus uh, was getting ready uh, not only to make a triumphant entry, but he knew that in days to come uh, that he was going to die on the cross. Uh, and so he uh, was coming uh, and making a statement. Uh, up until this time, Jesus hadn't really, hadn't really done a, a, a lot of uh, showing. He just did his ministry. But at this point in time, he said, now uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the people know exactly who I am. And so he comes, and he comes to a place, and he stops, and he tells two of the disciples, go, go to the place, amen. And one, and one translation says, where two roads meet, a crossroad, you're going to find a colt, amen. Now, a colt in, in the equine business society, you know that when you say a colt, it is a, a male, if it was a horse, it would be a stallion. When you say a colt, uh, you're talking about a male. When you say a filly, that is a female. Amen. But this was a colt. So we know that it was a young, uh, a young male, and, 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 and some kind of make it, make it look like a horse, but it was a donkey. Uh, amen. Uh, and they're tied. You're going to find it tied. Uh, amen. This donkey, this colt, uh, you're going to find it tied. Uh, amen. Uh, and you go and you take that uh, and you loosen it. Uh, amen. And somebody's going to come and they're going to ask you why are you doing that and you're going to say Jesus has need of it amen I can tell you right here right now amen that was a wild a wild colt amen it had never been ridden in fact Jesus said that he said amen it's going to be one that's never been ridden some like some like some of us amen we were not broke we were not trained amen we were wild amen when Jesus came into our life but he said I have need of you hallelujah and so there is uh, there is jesus uh, sending these men after this cult uh, amen and he said you let them know uh, that i have need of them uh, amen that stopped them right there in their tracks uh, now i understand uh, that if somebody came and got one of my horses uh, and said well so and so said they have need of it i say well guess what i have more need of it you ain't taking my horse someone come up there and try to take tiger first of all he'd probably bite him 
But if you come up there and try to take Tiger off my place, I'm going to tell you, you ain't getting them. Huh? But but in this in this situation, uh, there was something that passed, uh, amen, passed on uh, right then and there because uh, he said, tell them, uh, Jesus said, uh, I have need. Uh, amen. That's what happened uh, when some of you, uh, amen, came to an apostolic church. Uh, you understood, uh, amen, that your wild days are now over because uh, Jesus said, I have need of you. Uh, amen. And you said, okay, uh, here I am. Uh, hallelujah. And that is uh, a message for another day. Uh, but there they come. They take that donkey, uh, amen, and they're leading it to Jesus. Uh, and they bring it to him. Uh, and then they set their coats on his back. These apostles take their coats. You got to get it. You got to get it. I'm not going to take my coat off and put it on any donkey or any horse. Because it's going to get nasty. You don't understand. In lies, in that hair, layers of dirt. I've brushed for hours. And it seemed like the dirt just keep coming out. But these men, they, they understood that something supernatural is getting ready to happen. They had no clue. Jesus didn't give them cue cards. He didn't tell them ahead of time, this is what's going to go on. Uh, but there was something in their spirit uh, that they understood, uh, hallelujah, that it was time, uh, amen, for them uh, to give of themselves uh, to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Uh, so off come their coats. Uh, they put it on the donkey, uh, amen, and put Jesus on the donkey. And now Jesus is coming in. Uh, as the triumphant entry. Think about it, Pastor. These were, these were Roman days. Those Roman soldiers came riding in on their grand steeds. And I guarantee you they were prancing. They were, those horses were dancing. They're coming in. Powerful. They're flexing. They got their armor on. They looking good. And here comes Jesus on a donkey. The king. The king. The king. Humble as you can get. Humble king of kings and lord of lords. But what happened? Amen. Something began to transfer. Amen. In that place. Amen. As he began to move forward. Something began to happen. Amen. The people that were standing around began to take their cloaks off. Their clothes. Amen. Their outer coats. Those coats that represented who they were. Amen. And what their status was. Amen. They, they, they were dressed as a Pharisee. Uh, they were dressed as a tax collector. Uh, they were dressed as a rich man. Uh, they were des as, dressed as a ruler. Uh, they were dressed as those from the synagogue. Uh, but they began to take their coats off uh, and began to lay them down. Uh, in front of Jesus. And I thought for a minute there that Brother Brigay was going to do that. When he docked that plan over that, he was going to take that, that palm uh, and begin to wave it all over the place. Uh, but they literally began to st strip the palm branches off the trees and began to put them down and begin to yell, Hosanna, 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 Hazo Hosanna, blessed be the king, blessed be the king that comes. That word Hosanna is Savior or save us. Amen. They were saying the Savior that saves us is coming down the road. The Savior that saves us. Jesus. He's coming. I don't know how long it lasted. Possibly all the way into Jerusalem. But while well, they're coming, Pastor. They're coming down the Mount of Olives. They're coming by. There's a cemetery. The Mount of Olives Cemetery is on one side of that road. Still there today. The Pharisees start yelling, shut them down. Shut them down. Shut them down. They don't need to be saying that. They need to stop it. They need to quit. Shut them down. 
That's what the religious world is trying to do. Shut down, amen. Uh, shut down the way people worship. Uh, shut down the way, uh, hallelujah, we praise our God. Uh, try to dumb it down. Uh, get out the little, get out the little get fiddle uh, and play a little duk 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 song uh, and go, oh, and then go back home like nothing. Uh, amen, hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you that apostolics uh, still need to take authority in their worship. Uh, still need to take authority in their praise. Uh, still need to take authority. Ha! You musicians, uh, you need to play it, uh, amen, as loud as your pastor will let you, uh, amen, and I know he likes it loud, uh, so go ahead uh, and play it loud. Hallelujah. Turn it up, uh, amen. Uh, as long as it's in the Holy Ghost, uh, turn it up. I heard a, heard a little thing about a church across the way and some some other brother that believes, supposedly believes the same way we do, says they're too, too wild in their worship. They're too crazy. So they're trying, they're trying, to, they're trying to get them to tone it down. But you see, I've watched this church for a while and I, I, I know who their pastor is. And I understand where those people are coming from. Coming from some of the same places that you're coming from. From the gutter. From what they used to call Skid Row. From the dark places of town. From the drug houses. That's where they come from. And you, you want to tame them down? I say no. Turn them up. Let them go. Hallelujah. Let them go and flow. Because the king, the king of kings, hallelujah, meets with them on a regular basis. Those Pharisees, they're saying you need to stop them. Stop them. This is getting out of hand. I believe that they were feeling conviction because they were being out worshipped. And they're trying to shut them down. Those of you that want to stand back and, and fold your arms and look at people, amen, uh, and say, well, look at them, they're crazy. The reason why uh, you, you could act like that uh, is because you don't remember where Jesus brought you from. He's no longer the king of kings. Uh, he's no longer the savior of your life. Uh, he's no longer, uh, amen, the God that took you out of darkness. I believe in holiness, amen, I believe, amen, uh, this, this, this message of dress, uh, amen, but I'm going to tell you something, uh, if that's your salvation, uh, it's not getting you anywhere, uh, it's not taking you to heaven, uh, amen, you've got a puffed up heart uh, and a puffed up spirit, uh, but if you can get out on the aisle on a Sunday night uh, and praise the King of Kings. And I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it, amen, it doesn't matter what happened just hours before you got there. Some are still learning. They're still learning. But if they'll learn how to praise God, uh, if they'll learn how to surrender, uh, amen, and say, oh, King, uh, oh, Savior, uh, come save me. Uh, hallelujah, Savior. Hallelujah. But here's, here's where I want to preach. He said to them, hold on, a little altitude going on here, or maybe it's a little, well, we won't go there, hallelujah. He said, I tell you that if these talking about all these people dancing and shouting and screaming, waving palm branches, throwing the cloaks on the ground. If these hold their peace, the rocks. Now, I've preached it. Probably all y'all have preached it. The rocks, the stones on the side of the road. Stones are going to cry out. 
Scripture says it. Scripture says the stones. The stones would immediately cry out. But what we got to understand is Jesus was going past a cemetery. And you can you can Google, you can Google this Mount of Olive Cemetery, and you'll see these bolts sticking up out of the ground. First of all, those vaults are made of stone. But on top of those vaults, Pastor, and I've got pictures, are stones. Stones that the family members of those people that are in those vaults come and place a memorial every time they come and visit. They place those stones as a memorial to the dead. Oh, my God. You got to get this. You got to get it. You got to understand that Jesus, Jesus wasn't just talking into the wind and he wasn't just saying, well, absentmindedly, well, he didn't have nothing else to say. So those the stones will cry out. No, he was talking about the dead. Uh, amen. Uh, hallelujah. If you're going to shut these people up, uh, amen, if these people are going to hold their peace, and what he understood was they were. They were going to hold their peace. Yes, they were dancing and shouting then, and we get all excited about what they were doing right then and there. But listen, uh, just a few days later, uh, Jesus was standing by himself before Pilate. What happened to all the praisers? Jesus, when he said that, he was not just speaking an idle word, but he was being prophetic. He said, if these hold their peace, immediately the rocks that represent the dead. Get it. Get it. Ephesians 2 and 1. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. You, Christians, you that have been bought with the price of the blood, amen, that have received the Holy Ghost. He was talking to the church in Ephesians. He was talking to saved people. Uh, amen. Uh, you that were dead in the trespasses of sin. Literally, literally you have trespassed. You went too far. Amen. But now, hallelujah, now you are saved. First Peter 2 and 5. Catch it now. Ye also as lively stones. You were dead, but now you're alive. Hallelujah. When they rejected him at Calvary, when they, amen, held their peace and would no longer worship him as the king. Hallelujah. He transferred that, amen, to those that would receive the Holy Ghost. And those that were dead to the trespasses of sin are now alive. The stones... You stones. You're not getting it. I'm going to have to preach an hour and a half. So understand this, that every time, every time you come to the house of the Lord, and you begin to raise your hands. You're a lively stone. Hallelujah. You're a stone. Hallelujah. You're the stone that Jesus was talking about. Amen. If they hold their peace, and they did, the stones are going to cry out. That's why tonight we feel what we feel. That's why tonight there is a moving of the Spirit. Jesus shed his blood understanding yeah I'm going through this alone 
But when I give up the ghost, and it literally happened that when the veil was rent, at that same moment, literally graves popped open. And those that were dead, hallelujah, as a representation of what was coming 2,000 years later, hallelujah, we're still resurrecting the dead, hallelujah, we're still resurrecting, amen, those that are dead in sin, hallelujah, and shapen in iniquity, it's still happening today. Think about it. David, there's a giant across the way. David went through all the stuff. Same thing. Everybody trying to shut him down, stop him. No, you can't do it. You, you, you can't do that. You can't. You're not ready. Some of you, I'm telling you, in the Holy Ghost. Don't let them tell you you're not ready for ministry. Amen. That's between you and your pastor. Amen. And your pastor gives you a green light. You go. Uh, amen. And you go uh, unreserved. Uh, hallelujah. You go. Uh, don't let anybody tell you you don't have enough education. You don't have enough training. You don't know how to do it. Uh, amen. David. Uh, David. Uh, amen. He's walking down. Uh, he's looking at that big old giant. Uh, amen. That was defiling uh, the most high God. Uh, that had all the church, if you will. Uh, amen. Standing back and watching. Uh, but there he goes. And he picks up five smooth stones. Puts them in his pouch. Pulls one out. And I don't know if he'd be like me on a Sunday night. Or any church service, any, actually. When I realize that we're about to make the devil mad one more time. <laughs> you see, you see, every time we turn on the lights in Winslow, the devil's getting mad. Because those lights weren't supposed to come on, Pastor. Those lights were supposed to stay off. Uh, hallelujah. But God said, no, I've got some lively stones. Uh, hallelujah. They're going to praise me. Uh, amen. And I've got some more that are dead uh, that I'm going to resurrect. Uh, hey, hey, hey. And so I could just see, uh, I could just see David coming down. You see this, Bubba? Ha. <laughs> Puts it in his sling. And while he's cranking on that, that stone is coming alive. Hallelujah. There is something supernatural getting taking place. It's happening. Hallelujah. It's coming alive. Amen. To the point that it went into the one place that was open and available. Amen. That was Goliath's forehead that literally dropped him on his face. Amen. Let me tell you. Amen. Everything says that shouldn't happen. Everything says that's not supposed to take place. Uh, amen. A little boy or a young man is not supposed to take a giant out like that. Uh, but guess what? Uh, that was the first of many uh, because David understood, uh, hallelujah, that if I'll just put it in the hands of God. As we stand. We're here tonight. And I could ask for the raising of hands, but I can, I can tell you just by knowing people and understanding crowd that the majority of us have family members that are lost. In fact, some of us have immediate family members, that's from our household, that are lost. And as church world is trying to dumb down worship and say, well, that's not really what it needs, what needs to happen. They're literally, they're literally getting on, amen, and, 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 and displaying these, these conversations. You know, I'm Dr. So-and-so theologian, and, and let me tell you what worship is. And it's not all that everybody, what everybody says it is. Oh. 
I've come too late, sorry. I didn't get that memo. Because I know that when I'm needing the move of God, and it doesn't matter where it's at that I'm needing the move of God, Sister Chavez, doesn't matter where I'm at. If I'm needing a God, a move of God right then, I, I find a move of God. And what, what, what is it that I do? The first thing I do is I take, I, I, I take what's me. My pride and my arrogance and, and all that, all, all that, 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 that stuff uh, that, that's probably the biggest problem of why I'm really where I'm at right then anyway. And it doesn't matter. I lay it down. I was at the church all by myself, Pastor, and I got up in front of that pulpit and I just began to stand. There's no music, there's no nothing. I just began to go. It doesn't matter. Hell about care. There's nobody looking, and that's the best way. Hallelujah. I don't care. I'm going to lay it down. Everything. Begin to move into that realm of the Spirit because I understand. And you can faith it and fake it and all these kind of things till you make it. Or you can just say, God, I give up. I give it to you. And I don't care what anybody says. But I was dead. Dead, 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 dead. And now, I'm a lively stone. What is that? What does that lively mean? That lively. Means. Full of life and energy. Active and outgoing. that the Savior Halabakaha Hosanna has come into your life Amen uh, He's moved and worked and He's done the things uh, that needed to be done uh, Amen and you're not going to allow anything or anybody uh, Hallelujah You're not going to allow uh, any of the dignitaries uh, Amen uh, or those that are so uh, suave and debonair uh, to shut you down uh, but you're literally going to give it all to God uh, and you're going to say listen uh, Hey uh, I'm going to lay it down at Jesus feet I'm going to shout with a voice of triumph. Nothing, 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 nothing can stop, amen, a person that has learned how to worship God, that learned, hallelujah, how to lay themselves down. It's not when you get up there and say, well, look at me, this is how I do it. But when you do it, hallelujah, amen, from a broken spirit, amen, from a humble heart, amen, when you do it. There's not a one of us that was in a tomb. Every one of us was in a tomb. Every one of us was nothing but a rotten corpse until Jesus came by. When Jesus came by and he said, I have need of you. I have need.
And the majority of us, it was at the crossroads in our life. I don't even know if I've ever told this. But when I said crossroads, it brought, it brought something to me. I was rodeoing. And working a cattle ranch, me and, some, me and a buddy were running, some, running a cow ranch and it's rodeo in between. In case you don't know it, rodeo world, there's drug users in there. Just like anywhere else. And I had some contacts. Ex, they were backsliders. Young men that I went to church with told about the guys riding in the car remember that gonna be well, some of them were there were well, those guys they were drug dealers talking about a crossroad the rodeo world don't like to get themselves dirty so it's kind of hard to get what they need already having conversations about how we were going to be the connection I'm talking about dead pastor I was at a crossroad and Jesus said hey I got need of you I need you and I'm looking at my life and I'm thinking, there's no, there's no way Jesus needs me. But it was just, it was just a few days later that I went home. You remember the PSR days? My sister just came home from PSR that, 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 that weekend that I went home. And she was all excited about what God was doing. And they, they were singing in gospel songs and all this. And, and it got up in my spirit. And I felt the tug of the Holy Ghost in my life again. At a crossroads. That I guarantee you I would have ended up in prison or possibly dead. Maybe even both at the time. Brother Morales, you know what I'm talking about. In fact, every one of you have been there. In fact, there are some of you in this house right now, you're at a crossroads and Jesus is telling you, I have need of you. I have need of you. I want to fill you with my spirit and I want to show you, amen, what I'm going to do in your life. I want to lead you down a path, amen. I'm going to resurrect you from the dead and set you on a path, hallelujah, of living. It's at a crossroads. And now, the majority of us in this altar have been given new life. New life. And the thing that Jesus is desiring from you Thank you. I don't normally take my coat off because I don't want anybody to see. But that's my pride. Lay it down. Who are you? Those cloaks that they were laying down at Jesus' feet described exactly who they were to the world. It was their pride. It was who they were. Underneath that was their everyday clothes. But what they were displaying was what, what, what everybody seen. But when it came off, now they're exposed. 
they're the same as everybody else. And that's what Jesus is saying. Caleb, New Mexico, when you put allow yourself to be, uh, amen, just as everybody else, uh, hallelujah, them, them that were now once lost in sin, uh, them that were, uh, amen, shaping in iniquity, uh, those that were past, uh, amen, sinners, uh, hallelujah, but saved by grace, uh, those uh, that have been restored by the blood of the Lamb, uh, that's who you were, uh, but now you're a lively stone. Can you lay it down tonight? Can you lay it at Jesus' feet? Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? This is where ministry call is answered. This is where separation is answered. This is where it makes the difference. When you can go into the highways and the byways, hallelujah, with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, amen, and pull, pull those in that were lost and dead, but now you're showing them life. Jesus, Jesus is looking around. He's looking, he's looking, saying, hey, are you one of my stones? Are you one of my stones? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Harebo karabahai. Hina bokuri arabakata bahaya. Oh God. Oh God.
tonight. Hallelujah. Is he worthy of your worship tonight? 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're worthy of my worship tonight, oh God. Hallelujah, regardless of whatever is going on, whatever anyone else is doing, oh God, you're worthy of my worship, Lord Jesus. You're worthy, oh God, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Once upon a time, I was a rotting corpse. Hallelujah. But tonight, I'm a lively stone. I'm a lively stone tonight, Jesus. I'm a lively stone tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm a lively stone tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be a lively stone in my home. I'm going to be a lively stone on my work, on my job. I'm going to be a lively stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever I go, whatever the situation, I'm going to be a lively stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm a lively stone tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but God has been so good to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have so much to give God thanks for. For once I was a rotting corpse. No hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But tonight I'm a lifeless stone. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Glory! Woo! God has been good to me. I don't know about you, but he has been good to me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm a lively stone. Praise God. Hallelujah. We want to thank the servant of God tonight for obeying God's voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for obeying the Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for speaking to us. Thank you, God, for speaking to your people, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, for being here with us tonight, for moving among us tonight, Lord God, for touching lives, Lord God. Oh, God, there's somebody that is leaving here differently than the way they came in tonight. Glory! We give you all the thanks, Lord God. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Tonight, we thank you, God, for everything that has been accomplished tonight, Lord Jesus. Truly, you have been among us, Lord God. Your spirit moved in a mighty way, Lord God. We thank the church of Winslow, Lord God, for being faithful, Lord God, for their faithfulness tonight, Lord God. Oh, Jesus, be with each and every one of them as they travel their journeys home, Lord God. Be with each and every one of us, Lord God, throughout this week, Lord God. Bless and keep us, Lord God. Guide us, Lord God. Let your word be hidden in our hearts, Lord God. Strengthen us, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord God. Help us to love you even more, oh God. Hallelujah. Jesus, keep us, Lord God, as lively stones in your kingdom, Lord Jesus. We bless you and we praise your mighty name. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're all 